right, guys. So today you are going to be drawing weird textured fruit or vegetables. You can choose whatever fruit or vegetable you want to draw. If you want to follow and draw the ones I did, that's fine. Or you can go look up on YouTube at Art for Kids Hub and look up some other cartoon fruit. But remember, we're giving them weird textures. So like normally an apple would be smooth this one i made look like a brick um, pineapples are spiky but this one i made kind of soft and fluffy and then uh, this carrot is kind of drippy and gooey so it's kind of slimy um, so we're just going to give them different textures so i'm going to show you exactly how i did this um, i went ahead and did my lines my pencil lines uh, it makes it a little bit easier so you can see and it goes by faster. So I'm just going to give my um, my fruits and vegetables an outline in black marker and show you how to um, fill in your space for your eyes, your mouth to make them that cartoon look. I'm gonna keep the texture of my pineapple leaves, my carrot leaves, and my um, stem of my apple all the same. So this apple stem kind of has a wood texture. So I'm just gonna add some lines um, like you would see on a branch or a tree, that kind of thing. And then the same with my um, pineapple leaves. I'm not going to add any more texture to them other than their lines in the center that kind of help make it show that they're kind of have a, a crease to them a little bit. And then the carrot tops are usually a spiky leaf, so we kind of made them a little bit spiky. So to make our pineapple look fluffy, we're going to just kind of add some bumpy lines all around that aren't connected. So kind of like cloud lines without connecting them completely. All right, and I am going to, let's give him a little nose or her, this little pineapple. Let's give her a little nose. I'm just gonna put a nice little dot there because it looks kind of funny. And I'm gonna give, give her some eyelashes just so. All right, so there is my texture to my pineapple. Now with my carrot, we want to make sure we're doing that drippy line. So I'm just gonna add a few more little drippy areas. So you just kinda want it to come down and up and that's gonna keep it looking like it's dripping. And there's not a whole lot of space because I made this one smaller because it's more in the background of the paper. All right, so I gave him just a few little extra drips. So we're just gonna draw lines straight across first. So let's start. All right, then I'm gonna start with the first row and I'm just gonna bring some lines down and that's going to be about the width of these bricks. So the next row, you don't want to do the exact same. You want them to be a little bit different. So I'm going to put one right there. And they're going to kind of start in the middle 
of the last or the row above. So then this one is going to be almost the same place and then really make them look like bricks. We need to make this center section a little bit wider and a little more wavy. So, and I'm rounding the corner. So watch what I do. I'm going to round that corner and kind of round that corner, but then I'm going to kind of go back over my line and make them a little bit wavy because bricks are not perfectly straight. We're going to round all those corners. We don't want any of them to be sharp edges, like real straight edges. Okay, so now that I've got all that done, uh, my next step would be to color. And when you color your fruit, I want you to try to keep it as close to the actual colors as possible. And one thing I am gonna add to a carrot is the, the, curved, the curved lines that are on the carrot um, that give it that round um, appearance. So I'm just gonna kinda add some really dark orange lines like this. Um, so that way it kind of still looks like a carrot, but it's drippy. And then, um, and then I'm just going to color. And you can color the eyes, um, anything like that, any color you want. Guys, so here are my textured fruits and vegetable. You can choose to draw any fruit or vegetable you would like. I would like for you to try to draw three different ones with three different types of texture added to them. 
So remember, you're drawing to give it um, an appearance of texture. And I look forward to seeing your work. It's gonna be a whole lot easier to do this on a sheet of paper rather than your iPad. Um, you can use regular white paper, you can use construction paper, or even lined notebook paper, whatever you have available at home. And any coloring tools at all, crayons, markers, color pencils, all those work great.